Count Films Archives. <laughs> I mean, this is, okay, so you're gonna fuck this up at first. Like, I, I used to fuck it up. I still fuck it up sometimes, okay? You'll go for it when it's not there, or you'll telegraph it a lot, and they'll see you're going for it, and they'll take the underhook away, or you won't have enough pressure with your underhook, or you won't have enough pressure with your knee, and you'll, you'll make space, they'll get their knee shield down. Okay, there's a lot of ways you can screw this up. So we're gonna start covering some of those. We'll start Thank with uh, some of the knee shield stuff first, because this is probably the most common way you screw it up, okay? So there's also different degrees of a knee shield that can come in, okay? There's the knee shield that's on your hip where you still have your underhook, okay? There's the knee shield that's all the way across because you've really screwed up, okay? So you, these, you have different responses for both of these, okay? We'll start with a shallow. Ah! Like I said at the start, a lot of times I ended up posting above their head. It's because their knee shield came in a little bit. I didn't get in front of it. Okay. Now, it's very, very important. I never lose these underhooks. Okay. I can deal with any knee shield as long as I don't lose the underhook. So I'll do whatever it takes to keep this underhook. Okay. So if I felt like he was pushing me away with his knee shield, okay, I have to lean into the knee shield. Right. And if I don't have enough pressure with one underhook, to keep myself from getting pushed backwards, okay, I'll do two hands, I'll grab this, I'll grab his head, I'll do whatever I have to to stay attached to this, okay? Now, once I get close enough that I can lean to the other side, especially on like a, a shallower knee, knee shield that's kind of like on my hip instead of all the way across, guys, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to take my knee and roll it backwards just a little bit, okay? I'm pushing all of my weight into this hip, okay? And I'm just gonna let it move past me, okay? Dealing with a shallow knee shield is very, very easy. Just don't panic. Once they start to push me away, they said I don't want to push me away, I come across, I put all the weight on my knee, all the weight on my hip, I let my knee start to just roll back just a little bit, just enough to change the angle on this top knee shield. I let it go past me. And right now, if you look at my knee, my knee is out, okay? But my hip is actually touching his hip. Okay, so like he's not gonna be able to push me away and get his knee shield back in or get like a, a full frame back. Now I will go back and I will line my knee back up. Okay, so I'm always gonna clear shit, reset it very well, then I'll go back and I'll line my knee up. Okay, so one more time. Like let's say I went for like a full, full knee slice, okay, and I let that come in just like that. Okay, this happens. Okay. Come across, put all of the weight on your hip, actually push your hip into his knee, <clears throat> okay? It's almost like I'm slowly sprawling through it and it'll pop past you. Okay, now line back up and then I can close this off or I can come down, okay? So that's a shallow knee shield. There's any questions on that? Okay, we're gonna kind of speed through a lot of these because there's a lot there's a lot of ways you can fuck this up. So I'm gonna get through as many as we can. So if you guys don't have any questions, let's grab your partners and then we'll do with the deep knee shield next. <laughs> I won't hit your camera again. Oh, that was you? That was me. <laughs> I don't remember anyway, yeah. sorry. <laughs> when you're rolling the trap down to Be like a little bit above his knee okay the placement's not important it's just having a higher angle than him all right because what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring my knee in and i'm just going to sit to my hip okay and clear the knee shield now he has a couple options here most people think they can get up and as soon as he starts to get up i just turn my knee back down into the knee slice okay i have the underhook 
and my hips are going to be essentially under his hips. So I will always be able to get on top of him first. Okay, like if, if I sit here and this turns into a scramble, I can always push him back down. Okay, and all I'm doing by sitting on my hip is clearing the knee shield. Okay, but again, you see if I lost my underhook when I did this, uh, then I'm going to have a very bad time. So don't fucking lose the underhook. I'll say it again. Don't fucking lose the underhook. Okay, your options are just not super good if that happens. Um, I don't always need to use two hands here. Uh, two hands is just to reinforce my underhook pressure. If I was just really, really, really strong, I could do this. I am a weak, pathetic man, so I need two hands. Okay, And it's important that my angle is above his head. I'm almost trying to sit up like this. Okay, And you notice, uh, I'm using this to stay close so he can't push me away. But once I go to fall on my hip, I don't need to keep two hands on this underhook. I'll put my other hand down above his head somewhere, just so I can lean on it, or I'll lean on my elbow. Okay. <coughs> Sometimes it'll look like this, where I fully fall onto my hip, okay, just to get past that knee shield. And if he doesn't do anything, like if he knows he can't get up and he just sits here on his side, you just come back up anyways. I just turn my knee down, clear. Now I'm in a full knee slice finish, okay? Like we're just resetting the position to like if I did it right the first time. Go ahead, put some pressure. You can push me away a little bit. So up here, so I'm pulling myself in. Clear, reset. Okay. Sometimes my clear looks like I'm on my hip. Sometimes I'm on like this side. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't think you should try to fall all the way under your butt because that might be a little harder to get up. But like even right there, if you tried to get up, I'm still gonna be able to get up before him. My hips are under me, and I have this underhook to always kind of throw him back down with. Okay. So. The angle is important though. I am making sure I go over his head a little bit. <laughs> okay. I say it one more time, like six times. <laughs> I'm aware of my boss. <laughs> okay. So here and here. Um, I actually like the more they push me away too. Like not, not if he actually gets space, but the pressure, the more he's trying to push me away, makes his leg kind of go way past me when I do clear it, which makes it very easy for me to just immediately start to turn my knee down. Okay. okay. And then I said, at this point, it's just a matter of like keeping my elbow closed. He could maybe put a little bit of an knee shield back in, but it's shallow now. That's when I can just start to go through, and then I get down. Okay. Push me away. Yeah, like that's like worst case scenario knee shield. It's way across. Okay. So, so it looks dangerous. I do it a lot when I do screw up which is more than it should be, but... Are you purposely keeping your foot hooked on his bottom leg when you do that? Okay, so that, that, let me talk about that real quick. So, he's a little bit smaller than me, so it's not as big of a deal against someone that's a little bit taller. I would really make sure that this is going to be in front of this bottom leg, at the very least. Okay, because if I just fall into my hip without setting this up here, you see how that knee can follow me a little bit still? Okay? If I come in like this first, now I can get past it, okay? That's all I need, I just need to get past that niche a little bit. So this, this inside leg blocks and pushes it a little bit out of the way, it's not always the biggest deal, I don't always have to do it, okay? But it's a good habit. And don't fucking lose the underhook, okay? Like at this point, I'm actually squeezing this the whole time, right? If he tries to re-pummel me, like I can keep my head really close, I can use my elbow if I need to to try to move his leg out of the way, but again, it's really just a matter of turning my knee back down and putting my weight on it. <laughs> Any questions? Do you ever end up in a dog fight from here? Like dog no. fight? But no, no okay. I don't want to end up in a dog fight. No, I, no I'm saying, but like, it, it, it worst it case scenario. It hasn't happened to me because no one's been able to get up on it. Gotcha. Uh, a D1 wrestler, I still think you should be able to hold them down from here because I'm not fully, like, falling and just laying here. I'm just falling under my side with the full expectation I'm going to come right back up. So, I have the inner hook, I should always be able to put him down. But that does bring me to a good point. What you do is a guy just tries to get up. Okay, when I have my inner hook still. Go ahead. Okay. So like wrestlers that want to get up on their elbow, okay, the way to deal with shit like this is just to go across them and keep resetting them flat. So like if I did something like this and he just committed to getting up, the first thing I would do is take my chest across and keep him flat. Okay. That's kind of how you always just reset them down. Just keep leaning across them. Is that a good question? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. You guys want to try it out? 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.